Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. See, we need to use mathematical induction to prove that this statement is correct. Okay, 49 power n plus 16 n minus 1 is divisible by 64. Okay, fine. Now, as per mathematical induction, okay, if, a given, if the given statement is true for n equal to 1, and when we assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k if with that if we prove that the statement is true for n equal to k plus 1 it means that you know the statement is true for all national numbers okay in case you did not get c i'm gonna go a bit slow so please stay with me this is our question uh, the given statement is this i'm going to take it as p of m that is the first step okay now after this as I mentioned, first we need to check whether the given statement is true for n equal to 1. For that, just put n as 1. Okay. If I'll put n as 1, if I'll put n as 1, this is what I get. See, this is my this is what I have 49 power n plus 16 n minus 1. If I'll put n as 1, I would get uh, 49 power 1 plus 16 into 1 minus 1. So this is nothing but this, it's nothing but 6, this 64. Okay, now you see this is 64. Our statement is that this is divisible by 64. When we put n as 1, this is giving 64. 64 is divisible by 64. That's true. Every number is divisible by itself. Okay. So that's why, that's why this statement is true for n equal to 1. Fine. Okay. Once again, I'm telling, see, we have to show that this statement is true for, uh, true. Okay. So for that, my initial check is by putting n is equal to 1. When I put n as 1, I got 64. What does this statement say? This statement says that this should be divisible by 64. That means when I put n is equal to 1, I got 64. And this is divisible by 64. So the statement is true. Fine. Any doubts, please come in the comments box. Okay. I'll try my best to help you out there. Now, standard procedure. We need to assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k. Assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k. Which statement? That st This statement only with which we are working. Now, since this statement is true for n equal to k, in place of n, I can put k. Okay, this is what it means. That means 49 power k plus 16k minus 1 is divisible by 64. Fine. Now, next. Now, listen. listen. Since this is divisible by 64, this, okay, I'll just highlight it. This is divisible by 64. Now, what does this mean? This means that this this uh, this expression has to always give something like 64 into some number. I'll give you an example. See, uh, let us take a number 32. Okay, 32 is it divisible by 2? Yes, because it can be written as 2 into 16. That means 2 is one of its factors. Right. Now, whenever, you know, this number is divisible by 64, this means that 64 will always be there. I mean, this expression will always give something that is 64 into some, num some number. That's why I took that as 64 into t. Okay. I hope uh, this is clear. Fine. Now, next. This you mark it as one. We are going to use it later. Now, uh, now, we have to show that the statement is true for n equal to k plus 1. What does it mean? Okay. Uh, in the same statement for with which we are working, put n equal to k plus 1. We have to show that this is divisible by 64. This is divisible by 64. Okay. Now, how we are going to do that? Chalo, stay tuned for more act for more content. Mm, okay. Now, Initially, we got this, right? 49 power k plus 16 k minus 1 equal to 640. Now, that's what I wrote it here. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, send the 16 k minus 1 to the RHS. I get this, mark it as 2. Now, you might ask me why I'm doing this. Because I'm, I'm going to use it in my later stage. This is my preparation for that. Okay. Now, coming back, we have to show that this is divisible by 64. That means I have to make sure that I write it as 64 into something. See, if I can show that this expression, which expression, this expression is 64 into something, my job is done. So let's get started. 
this is my expression now this is 49 power k plus 1 okay 49 power k plus 1 can be written as 49 power k into 49 power 1 okay why why because because a power m plus n is nothing but a power m plus n is nothing but a power m into a power n so that's why this is like 49 power k into 49 power 1 it's dot you could use bracket everything's fine okay chalo now what is this 49 power k 49 power k is this 60 6 to 40 minus 16 k plus i told you right already in the beginning that i am going to use this at the beginning of this calculation fine so in place of 49 power k i just put this okay and beside this i guess you could just mention from 2 it would be good beside this step it gives a good impression that you are going in a systematic flow now after this is basic simplification okay stay with me it's not that difficult now basic multiplication this is what i get 60 40 into 49 minus 16 get 49 plus 49 the 16 k plus 16 minus okay now see listen uh fine here i have 49 plus 16 minus 1 49 plus 16 is 65 65 minus 1 is 64 okay so i'd get that the numbers would give me 64 now after all after that i'm left out with this 64 c 64 t into 49 i'm writing it as 64 into 49 t this 49 bro brought it inside the bracket 64 i kept it outside the bracket why simple reason is that i want to make every term as 64 into something now this is 64 into something also see this this is 64 64 is only there what else i need now my target is this see here i have minus 16k into 49 plus 16k my target is this i want to make sure that this two some of these two gives 64 into something okay Shallow. uh now in these two terms in these two terms i can take 16k common see here there is a 16k and here there is a 16k just take 16k common if i'll take 16k common okay i guess i wrote it ulta first so that it see here it is minus 16k into 49 plus 16k okay write 16k first and minus 16k into 49 next that's all just interchange them now take 16k common i get 1 minus 48 49 1 minus 49 is nothing but minus 48 okay now this minus you can bring it outside minus i brought it outside now 48 can be written as 4 into 12 48 can be written as 4 into 12 now you could ask me why only 4 into 12 we can write 6 into 8 uh, we can write 2 into 24 yeah you can write but you know here our task is to make sure that this becomes this becomes 64 into something see i have 16 outside 16 needs 4 16 should be multiplied with 4 so that it becomes 64 understand my purpose my purpose is very clear i want to make it 64 i want to make this entire thing 64 into something so each term should be 64 into something clear now 16 into 4 is 64 and k yeah, keep it inside the bracket 16 for the 64 k keep it inside the bracket. now if you see here i have 64 here i have 64 here or i'll just i have 64 so that's it just take 64 common i'll get 49 t minus 12 k plus 1 okay so that's it my task is done i see we began with that you know the that expression if i were to show you see we began with this and we showed that this is nothing but equal to this is nothing but equal to 64 into something here this is an integer okay 49 t minus 2 so since this is so this is 64 into some number so basically i get the that one that expression is divisible by 64 that's what i wrote here fine i hope uh, things are pretty clear okay now therefore the statement is true for an equal to k plus 1 so as per mathematical induction now this statement is you know true for all n belongs to capital n okay happy ending <laughs> so we got uh, what we wanted we were supposed to prove this and you know we could do it fine so thank you in case you like this video please hit the like button it would encourage me to make many more of this video videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please just please do subscribe to it okay also, you could check out other chapters like functions, matrices, trigonometry, you know, if you wish.
you can just go to the playlist section of my channel check them out fine uh, in the textbook one thing see in the textbook uh, this is done in a little different method i mean uh, you can just do like this the way i mentioned it is perfectly all right and you'll get full marks if you do like this so don't worry about that much if you feel the textbook method is easy there's an example question which i taught you if you feel the textbook method is easy you can follow that or if you feel my method is easy you can write this this is perfectly all right okay fine thank you